In a school cafeteria, all the students are chowing down during their lunch break, but out of nowhere, a girl suffers from something. Her eyes start glowing, and she starts shaking like crazy until falls right to the floor and dies. We then know that she is the first one to die in the school, because after a month and a half later, her entire class died. After a while, the news informs us that the name of the disease is IAN, and what is happening is something horrible for the parents who have children, because almost 98% of the children in the cities die. Also, reports that there are strange accidents for children, and a warning appears that if anyone finds their children behaving strangely, they should report it to the Centers for Disease Control. On the other hand, we see a beautiful girl named Ruby, while her family gives her a medal that she wants on her birthday. Shortly after, her mother is worried about her, but Ruby tells her, don't be worried, I'm fine. In the evening, Ruby can't sleep, so she goes to her parents' room and tells her mother in a low voice, don't worry, it's me. But as soon as Ruby holds her mother's hand, her eyes start glowing, so she feels terrified and goes to her room. In the morning, Ruby wakes up and talks with her mother, but she doesn't remember Ruby and asks her, who are you? Ruby tells her that she is her daughter and that she gave her this gift yesterday. But she locks Ruby in the garage and Ruby keeps screaming and tells her mother that she doesn't do anything wrong and asks, why are you locking me up? Ruby keeps crying until a group of the Epidemic Control Center arrives and they take her. By the way, the government isn't worried about the children who died, but afraid of those who are still alive then, they transfer the surviving children like Ruby to an army camp. And as soon as they arrive, they put the children next to each other. Shortly after, one of the children tries to escape, but he can't, and they hit him then. The boy manages to control the officer who hit him and makes her kill herself, but they grab him quickly and beat him, and they take the rest of the kids away, including Ruby. She goes to the medical examination, and the doctor tells her that all the boy's eyes turn to a specific color according to their abilities. Also, he tells her that the first color is green, and they are the smartest. After that, the blue one has the ability to control things remotely, and the golden one can control the electricity. But there are the most dangerous colors, which are red and orange, and there aren't a lot of them. On the screen, the result appears to him that Ruby is orange, and they must get rid of her immediately. Meanwhile, Ruby feels that the doctor wants to kill her, so she tries to run away, but the doctor notices and catches her. Then, Ruby holds his hand and manages to control his mind. She orders him not to say that she is orange. Then, the doctor changes her result and makes her green. In the camp, they divide the children according to their capabilities and their colors green. And of course, there is no red or orange because they kill them. After six years, Ruby is in the camp, and the sliders make a noise test for her and the rest of her colleagues. But Ruby can't stand more. She falls on the ground, and they take her to the hospital. In the hospital, Ruby meets Dr. Kate, and she tells Ruby that she is the only one who passed out during the test, and asks her about the reason. Suddenly, one of the guards enters and tells the doctor your time's up, but Kate writes something quickly on the paper, and tells him they must keep on Ruby to complete the tests on her. When Ruby sees the paper, she finds that the doctor warns that they know that she is orange, and they will get rid of her soon, and leaves her a key. Then, Ruby manages to run away and meets Kate, and they run away through the back door of the hospital. At the gate, the guard wants to get Ruby out of the car to know who she is, but Ruby manages to control his mind. She orders him to go back to his chair and forgets what happened, and this is what really happens. In the morning, Ruby wakes up and finds herself finally outside the camp. After that, she asks Dr. Kate, where are the people? Kate replies that most people went to work in big cities after what happened. Then, she gives Ruby a chain and tells her that this is a tracking device. If she finds herself in danger, she has to press on it, and she will come quickly to her location. Shortly after, Kate stops the car and goes to meet her friend Rob. He then gives her a bag with new clothes so that she can change her clothes. Meanwhile, Ruby is about to fall, but Rob catches her, and when he touches her, Ruby controls his mind and sees that he was running after children and treating them like a monster, and thinks that he isn't a good man. In the gas station, Ruby meets a golden girl named Zoo, but she fires the gas station and runs away, and Ruby runs after her. When Ruby reaches Zoo, she asks her to enter the car, because she has nowhere to go and no one to trust. Then, Zoo opens the car for her, and she hides Ruby in it. After that, her friends arrive and they enter the car. The first one is Green Chubbs, and the second is Blue Liam. Shortly after, they see Rob and Kate while they are searching for Ruby, but Liam drives the car quickly and they escape. On the way, the boys ask Zoo, who are they, and who is Ruby? 
but Ruby appears and tells them that she is Ruby. Liam stops the car, and they tell Zoo that they don't want any stranger. But Liam asks Ruby if she ran away from the camp, and Ruby tells him yes, and that she is green, and it won't be dangerous for anyone. Then, Liam tells her to stay with them, and they will all run away together. But a woman named Jane appears, and she starts shooting fire at them. So Liam asks Ruby to come drive instead of him, and he tries with Chubbs to make a storm. They manage to do it, and Jane's car falls into the river. Then, they fall a tree before Rob and Kate's car, and they stop chasing the group. Ruby asks her new friends about Jane, and Chubb says she is a killer agent, and her job is to capture children like them for the government. Meanwhile, Liam invites Ruby to come with them to the East River. It will be a huge gathering, and the children will live together in it. And the person in charge of the place is called the Slip Kid, this name because he escaped four times from the army camp, and his color is orange like Ruby. Meanwhile, they decide to stop and rest at a hotel along the road, but while they are sleeping, Zoo's hand touches Ruby's hand by mistake, and Ruby gets into Zoo's dream, and how she and Liam escaped from the camp, and that there were many children who were killed during the escape. After that, Ruby wakes up terrified of this dream, but Zoo reassures her and tells her that this is just a dream, and don't be afraid. Shortly after, they go to get some food and clothes, so they enter an abandoned mall, and Zoo turns on the mall's electricity. Then strange people appear and write on the ground, get out. They make Ruby and Liam fly in the air. But Zoo can control electricity and she scares them. Meantime, they find out that they are just children like them and they say sorry to them. And Liam tells them that they are coming to take some things and walking. But the stranger tells them that they can take what they want and they can also spend the night with them. At night, they all talk about the slip kid and the wear of his camp that contains many children. But the strangers don't want to tell them where the camp is exactly until Ruby tries to make one of them talk. And he says, one word, Edo. After Chubbs searches for it, he finds a frequency on the radio. And they hear someone who says that the gathering place is at Princess Lake. And they are very happy when they hear this. In the morning, Liam goes to Ruby's house because she asks him to see her family. They reach there and Ruby sees her mother. But she's afraid to enter because she knows that they won't know her. Ruby runs while crying, and Liam says that it is better for her to forget the past and go to the children's camp with them. But when they go to the car, Jane surprises them again and hits Ruby. She can control Liam with the frequency weapon while Zoo and Chubbs are tied up. But Ruby manages to control Jane's mind, and her friends are so surprised because they make sure that she is green, not orange. Ruby orders her to drop the gun and goes straight into the woods. And Jane does what she says shortly after, Ruby faints and falls to the ground. After a while, she wakes up in the car and says sorry to her friends because she lied to them. But Chubbs tells her he knows that she is orange because she isn't as smart as him. Then they go on their way. When they find the sign of Edo, they feel happy. But while they are walking, they meet a group of strangers who are shooting at them. And their leader orders Ruby and her friends to get down on the ground. But one of them named Mike remembers Liam then orders everyone to stop shooting and tells Liam, welcome home. They enter the camp and meet children from everywhere. They go and meet the slip kid and we find out that he is the president's elder son and his real name is Clancy. However, the president deceives the public, giving them the impression that her son is receiving treatment for the illness. This instills hope in parents that one day their children who are in the army camps might receive treatment. In the morning, Ruby meets Clancy who tells her what happened to him in the army camp and says that they were treating him like a lab rat to find medicine that doesn't exist at all and that his father didn't care about his screaming. After a while, he teaches her how to control her abilities and develops them for the better. Then she goes and sits with Chubbs, who doesn't like the camp, and tells her that we eat here at certain times and we are forced to work in this place and it is like the army camp. After a while, it appears that Clancy is talking to someone on the internet when Ruby enters his room, he hides the chat and then tries to assault her, but she quickly walks away and meets Liam, who wants to know what is wrong with her. When she tells him what happened, he wants to kill Clancy, but she stops him and suggests running away from this place. They take Zoo and Chubbs with them, but find the army camp director is there. Liam tries to fight with him, but fails, and we find out that Clancy is working with the army. While Clancy is beating Liam, the colonel grabs the weapon and sets fire to himself because Ruby managed to control his mind, and Zoo starts electrifying the place, and then they run away quickly. But the army planes arrive with children of a rare red color, and they get a fire from their bodies and burn the place around them. Shortly after, Ruby stands before Clancy and tells the rest to get out of there immediately. 
Also, Ruby says she will control his mind, and they manage to kill a lot of soldiers, but Clancy falls Ruby to the ground and asks her to let him enter her mind. Then, Ruby controls the plane and falls it on them, but she runs from the place quickly. Chubbs comes and takes Ruby with him, but because of the force of the explosion, the two of them fall, and Chubbs is injured. Then she tells him to go to the hospital, and she presses on the chain that Kate gave her at the beginning. After a while, Ruby wakes up and finds herself in the room, and Kate tells her not to be afraid, and says that Chubbs is in the hospital, but his condition is difficult, and they arrested Liam. But Ruby says that they must let Liam go because he is not a criminal. Kate tells her that we can't let him go, and they have to focus on fighting the president and what he is doing in the camps. So Ruby tells her she can fight with them, but asks Kate to talk to Liam first. Kate agrees and tells her that there are no problems. When Ruby sees Liam, she makes him forget their memories together and tells Liam to take care of Zoo and Chubbs. We see Ruby alongside Kate as they train a group of children who have unique abilities like her to face the president's army. Thanks for tuning in. A thumbs up would be amazing because I've got some bills to pay. Big dog status, I'm a big dog.